Hey guys, this is My Shot Photo Tips with Hillary. I'm Hillary and I work on My Shot, where I give kids tips and tricks on photos. Learn more about My Shot by visiting ngkidsmyshot.com. Have you ever wondered how to get that magical fuzzy light effect in the background of your photos? That's bokeh. So bokeh is a Japanese word meaning blur. Okay, so I want to show you some really cool bokeh photos I've already seen on My Shot. This example from MyShot user Pixel Perfect shows how they got really close to their subject but far away from the background. Bokeh works really well with street photography, especially at night, like in this photo by Elephant Loves. In this example by Ophelion, they've placed a little heart-shaped cutout over their lens that basically changes the shape of their aperture. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. For this challenge, you'll need your camera, black poster paper, a ruler, a scrapbooking knife, a pencil, a UV filter for your camera lens, scissors, painter's tape, twinkle lights, and something to photograph. So you're gonna take your paper and I'm gonna use my lens cap. I wanna make sure that my cutout is gonna fit right in there. So trace it, and it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it fits. Take my scissors, I'm gonna cut that out. I'm gonna cut it a little smaller than what I traced, just to make sure it does fit inside. I'm gonna figure out where the middle of my filter is gonna be, where I want my cutout to be. So my camera is a 35 millimeter, and I'm gonna be shooting at an aperture of f1.8. 35 divided by 1.8 is about 19. So I know that my bokeh cutout cannot be any larger than 19 millimeters wide. I'm going to draw my little heart shape within that size. So I'm taking the scrapbooking knife and I'm gonna carefully cut out the heart. The bokeh is gonna look best if there are smooth edges and if the paper's not as jagged. So that's why we're using a really sharp scrapbooking knife rather than scissors. You may need to get a parent's help with this part. Pop it out. See? So here's my finished bokeh filter with a heart shape cut into it. I have my UV filter on because I don't actually want to touch my camera lens. So now I'm gonna take my little bokeh filter and place it on my camera. If your bokeh filter isn't holding on its own, that's where the painter's tape comes in and you'll just take a little piece or two and secure it. You wanna get your filter as close to the lens as possible. So that's also why I have the UV lens filter on there. So I can press it as far into the lens as possible without actually touching the lens. And then I'll get nice, crisp, clear bokeh shapes. Also, if you've cut it too small and you have little gaps drawing, you can cover that with your tape and it's fine. So I have my camera set up. I have it close to my object that I wanna photograph, but my object is far enough away from the background, so it'll be in focus, but the background with the twinkle lights is gonna be out of focus and get that nice bokeh shape. Here it is with the bokeh filter off of my lens. You can see that the twinkle lights in the background are this nice big round beach ball shape. Now if I want to put my heart shape filter on, this little guy, let's see what that does to the bokeh. Bring up the brightness a little bit. And now you can see that the twinkle lights are now each a little heart shape. So I have my aperture set to 1.8. I am at a shutter speed of 50, 1 50th of the second and my ISO is at 800 just because it is pretty dark and I want this camera to see what's going on. All right, and let's preview that guy, how it turned out. I hope you enjoy these tips. I really can't wait to see your pictures. 